loud hallelujah amen this time around we want to intercede for dominion harvest crusades if you can't remember anyone you remember the one we held in jesus center church on do road early february i believe you remember so we want to pray for such kind of crusade. We are also supposed to hold the crusade in Oshogbo, in Ibadan, etc. And I know the God of heaven will bring it to pass. And his name shall be glorified in the name of Jesus. So we want to begin this prayer by thanking the Lord. So if you can stand up, I want you to stand up after that glorious supersonic choir ministration and praise worship. Hallelujah. I want to say great and mighty Father. We thank you for the vision that gave birth to Dominion Harvest Crusade. To you be glory and honor in the name of Jesus. Great and mighty Father. We thank you for the vision that give back to Dominion Abbey's Crusade. To you be glory and honor in the mighty name of Jesus. Great and mighty Father, we thank you for the vision that gave back to Dominion Abbey's Crusade. This is marvelous in our sight. It is your doing. And for this, we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you adoration. We give you deliverance. We give you dominion. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. You know, one beloved sister walked into our church in Ondorod 1. Wednesday, and she shared her testimony. She has never been there in that church before. She said she attended the crusade. She was running, having running to some complications, but she believed God during the three-day crusade, and she was healed. Hallelujah. Today, she and the members of her family are part and parcel of the church. That's one of many testimonies. So, you may not know that there were miracles. Souls were saved, except you have some feedback. I'm trying to give you some feedback. So, I want to say, Father, thank you for the harvest of souls, healing, deliverance, and diverse miracles that have been recorded through Dominion Harvest Crusade. Father, thank you for the harvest of souls, healing, <coughs> deliverance, and diverse miracles that have been recorded. Oh, through Dominion Harvest Crusade, we give you glory, we give you honor, we give you adoration, be exalted, mighty God. In the name of Jesus, Raka Soka Rasa Kanda Palio Sekerida Polia, Rega Galo Damba Kulia Sepolia Daba, Reba Gala Bansho Kelebo. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. You know, we are about to conclude Sunday service one Sunday, and somebody walking, mature man, and I was interacting with him after the church. He said, I have my church, but I want to be attending your midweek services. I was here during the Dominion Harvest, during the crusade, you know, and, you know, she, he comes for Wednesday uh, Bible study prayer meeting. There was another person who came the Saturday after the crusade. 
the Saturday before Sunday. I think the crusade was, uh, is it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? So the Saturday, when we had to do follow-up, you know, he came. I think, okay, we finish on Friday, maybe Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And he said, my family and I, we have been looking for a church nearby because we can't afford to travel long distance for church. We attended the crusade and we are joining this church. Praise the name of the Lord. So I want to say, great um, God of Israel, we know you have a great plan for Dominion Harvest Crusade. Help us to be able to deliver your plan for Dominion Harvest Crusade in the name of Jesus. God of Israel, we know that you have a great plan for Dominion Harvest Crusade. Help us to be able to deliver your plan in the name of Jesus. We receive grace to be able to deliver your plan for Dominion Harvest Crusade. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. <clears throat> In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Just seven prayer points and we are on number four. You see that we are moving very fast. Acts of the Apostles chapter 16. I will read from verse 6. Acts 16 says, Now when they had gone throughout Phrygia, that's Paul and Silas, and were forbidden of the Holy Ghost to preach the word in Asia, after they were come to Mysia, they had said to go into Bithynia, but the Spirit suffered them not. That is, the Spirit didn't allow them. And they, passing by Mysia, came down to Troas, and a vision appeared to Paul in the night. There stood a man of Macedonia and prayed him, saying, Come over into Macedonia and help us. And after he had seen the vision, immediately we endeavored to go into Macedonia, assuredly gathering that the Lord had called us for to preach the gospel unto them. The simple issue here is that Paul and Silas wanted to go into a region. They said, no, don't go there. They wanted to go here. I said, no, don't go there. This way, no. Ah, why are we here? <laughs> and then in the night, there was a vision. And in that vision, they saw a man of Macedonia saying, please come and help us. We need your help. And that was Macedonia where they enter trouble, where they enter prison. Paul and Silas, they sang, they prayed, the Holy Ghost came. But you and I know that God was with them in that trouble. That trouble was allowed by God because the Holy Ghost led them. Hallelujah. I pray the Holy Ghost will lead us in the name of Jesus. So let's take this prayer and say, in the mighty name of Jesus, we receive the guidance of the Holy Spirit to know when and where to organize Dominion Harvest Crusade. In the mighty name of Jesus, we receive the guidance of the Holy Ghost to know when and where to organize Dominion Harvest Crusade. In the name of Jesus. Rago raso karia sapora koria sapara daba. Rapo sheke le de boga rasa polia bakoria. Rega raso kalada baga rada ba. Marango lada ba. Rega ga 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 ga. Rebo garosa kalada ba. Father, we receive. Oh, the guidance of the Spirit of God to know when and where to organize the Dominion Harvest Crusade. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. We want to pray for money. We want to pray for financial resources, spiritual resources to organize Dominion Harvest Crusade. There are things you need money to do. Grandma will not do it. Hallelujah. I was somewhere this morning and I was trying to browse. <laughs> but the thing was not going. So he said, your data you know, has expired. 
and I had about is it seven gig lock up somewhere. And he said, you need, just, just renew it, and then it will roll over. And I'm sure he was giving me some few So I was trying to bring money, buy airtime, then the thing was not cooperating. Praise the name of the Lord. But eventually I got to a place where there was data, everything. In short, I, thought, I said somebody should send data to me, not knowing that there was still about two gig unused. But eventually I got to a place where there was network. I tapped the bank. Tap this one, tap that one. Before you know it, you are talking of 19 gig data. Money had to come. Praise God. If I spoke grammatically tomorrow, will the, will the data be renewed? Answer me now. Aha. So it's not grammar, it's what? Money. And God is the owner of money. Isn't that so? He owns the cattle upon a thousand years. I want you to say loud and clear. Say, we receive all material financial and spiritual resources to run Dominion Harvest Crusade effectively. We receive all material, all financial, all spiritual resources to run Dominion Harvest Crusade in the name of Jesus. Father, we receive all material, financial, and spiritual resources to run DHC effectively. We want to run Dominion Harvest Crusade effectively. Father, give us the material. Give us the financial. Give us the spiritual resources to run it effectively. For a glory to your name. We shall never be stranded in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Two prayer points to go. Acts chapter 6 verse 1. And in those days when the number of the disciples was multiplied, there arose a murmuring of the Grecians against the Hebrews because their widows were neglected in the daily ministration. When the number of disciples was multiplied, God will multiply us. He will multiply his disciples in Christ's dominion team and Jesus center churches in Jesus' name. You know, the Bible was talking of disciples, not converts, not church members. Hello? Church members, whenever there is rain, they won't come to church. Whenever there is a little discomfort, no church. Sometimes they will come to church. They say, let me come to church to help the pastor, to support the pastor so that he won't be discouraged. Church member. Praise God. But when you become a disciple, you are ready to stand for Jesus. Come rain, come shine, come trouble, come confusion. When you come to church, it's your obligation as a Christian not to help the pastor, <laughs> not to support the pastor. You are coming to meet God. That's a disciple. And a disciple will be able to bring others to Christ. When a disciple sees opportunity to commit sin, he says, me, I'm not ready to die now, he runs. When a church member sees opportunity to commit sin, he will look left, right, and say, I hope, I hope church members are not here. I hope pastor is not, he goes into sin. May you be a disciple. May you be a disciple. So I want you to say, Father, Father, multiply the number of your disciples greatly in Christ's dominion team and Jesus Center churches so that we will not lack personnel to run Dominion Harvest Crusade in the name of Jesus. Father, multiply the number of your disciples greatly in Christ's dominion team and Jesus sent our churches so that we no lack personnel to run Dominion Harvest Crusade. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. The last prayer point. You see, 
if God will do something in Ilefe today, he will never come down physically. Jesus will never walk on the street of Ilefe except through a revelation, a dream. If Jesus will do something in the church here today, he will use men and women. He will use young people. He will use old people. Hallelujah. May God find you useful to achieve his agenda, to achieve his purpose in the name of Jesus. When Saul became blind, he had to send Ananias. He didn't come physically. May God never replace you. May stones never replace you in the name of Jesus. So that's why we want to commit our pastor, the president of Christ's dominion team, to the Lord. That God will guide him. That God will inspire him as he leads the organization of Dominion Harvest Crusade. I want to say, Father, we commit the president of Christ Dominion team to you, Lord. Father, guide him to run Dominion Harvest Crusade by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, Father, we commit the president of Christ Dominion team, international churches, international Christian center, unto you. Father, guide him. Guide him. Father, lead him by the inspiration of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. To you be glory and honor. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Father, thank you for the grace you have given us to intercede for dominion our crusade this evening. To you, Lord, be glory and honor in the name of Jesus. Father, bless Dominion Dominion Harvest Crusades. Lord, let it lead to harvest of souls. Let it be accompanied with miracles, signs, wonders, deliverance, glorious manifestation, showers of blessing. In the name of Jesus. And for everyone praying tonight, Lord, use us for your glory in Dominion Harvest Crusade. And let your name be exalted in the name of Jesus. In organizing this crusade, we shall have more resources than we ever need. We shall not lack personnel. We shall not lack men. We shall not lack women. We shall not lack young people. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We shall not lack anointing. We shall not lack the leading of the Holy Ghost. We shall not lack the inspiration of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Anywhere we organize Dominion Harvest Crusade, I decree there will be a great impact that can never be rubbed off for several years. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray.